years ago, you know, my first job was in Bay Queen. I know a little bit about boats. You think after this whole episode I can drive? One of the boats. One of them. I don't care which one. The, the biggest one would be cool, but any of the vouchers. All right. Well, when was the last time you had a boat license up? Do you? Do they even need one? To no. drive the boat, you'd have to be a captain oh. or a lieutenant. So. All right. If you can get her up and working, I would be impressed enough. Really? That you could <laughs> Welcome to Carpooling with Ben. Folks, it's probably one of the coolest living museums that is actually on the water in Fall River, Massachusetts, Battleship Cove. I grew up going to this place with my family, my cousins, and perhaps you did too. And if you haven't been recently, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time. Summer is here. Get there from Battleship Cove right here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Liz, thanks for Hi. hopping in the thanks car with me and go for a ride yeah. as we drive through. This is probably one of the coolest museums out there. Yeah, it definitely is, but I'm I'm, I'm pretty biased. Yeah, are yeah, you? <laughs> for sure. It's one of the best museums ever. Give me the, the for people who don't know what, what Battleship Cove is, what is it? So it is America's Fleet Museum. We have four ships in our collection that are in the water. We mm -hmm. have the biggest ship of all, which is the Battleship Massachusetts. Then we have the destroyer, which is the USS Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Okay. That's the second biggest ship. Then we have the USS Lionfish. That's our submarine. Okay. Um, and lastly, in the water, we have the Hidden Z, which is a um, Russian-built East German missile corvette. Wow. Right. Yeah, that's a pretty cool ship. She's our newest to the collection. We got her um, in 1996. The rest of the ships we got... We got uh, the Battleship Massachusetts in 1965, the Kennedy in 74, and the Lionfish in 73. So how long has this organization been in, in together, Battleship Cove? So Battleship Cove began in 1965 um, when the uh, former crew members of the Massachusetts got together. They said, we want to save the ship, which was slated to be um, scrapped. Yeah. So they got together as a group. Um, and then along with the children of Massachusetts, the school children of Massachusetts, they raised enough money to bring the ship up from Norfolk, Virginia to Massachusetts and open her as a museum. So 1965. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's so great. I mean, mm -hmm. and I mean, I grew up in this area, so I remember going there mm -hmm. as a kid. And it's one of those things where you don't just go once and you've seen everything. Right. There are constantly updates to exhibits and additions mm -hmm. to the various history ports. Yep. If, if somebody was planning to go on a trip and, and come here and check it out. What what are some of the things they should do before they get here to, to maximize their experience here? Well, number one, you've got to make sure that you've got your uh, walk and shoes on because there is a ton to see. Okay. Um, but, you know, if you're really interested in naval history, you can read up on World War II. Um, so the battleship was involved in the Battle of Casablanca, which okay. was part of Operation Torch. So you can do a little bit of research on that if okay. you're interested. We have our website. There's a lot of history on the ships if you'd like to get sort of oriented beforehand. Mm -hmm. If you really like submarines, for example, you can do a little bit of research on that type of class of Now, submarine. is the submarine in the water? Yes, like it's, it is. Is it underwater? It is not underwater. Okay, but it's like it's on the surface. It's sitting surf. on the water. Okay, yep. all right. That's, we uh, haven't that's taken a... her for a dive yeah. for a while. So. <laughs> my, put that on a list of things to do. The, uh... <laughs> oh. So how many people come through? Battleship Cove on, a, on an annual basis? We see about 88,000 visitors. Really? Yep. Wow, yep. that's so great. And right. I mean, school groups, I mean, yep. here it's summertime and mm -hmm. right before uh, right before you jumped in the car, I saw a few groups already mm -hmm. going on their tours for mm -hmm. the day, yep. uh, which is great. Uh, school groups. Uh, you guys actually do uh, overnight sleepovers yes. Yes, as well. We do. Talk they're, to me about that. They're super cool. You get to stay on the World War II battleship in the same bunks that the crew members would have slept in. Wow. Yeah, so you get to live your night like a sailor. So there's family overnights. There's also Boy Scout and Girl Scout overnights. We feed you breakfast. You get to tour. You have like special behind the scene flashlight tours. Ooh. And you basically get to experience the battleship when it's completely closed to visitors. The overnighters are the only people on the ship, which is really cool. It's very VIP. Talk about a learning experience. I mean, if right. you wanted to do something mm -hmm. this summer, maybe you're not going on a big trip, but you could do an overnight on the battleship. That right. that sounds like a really awesome opportunity. People right. can learn more about that on your website. Yep. You guys have events coming up later in the summer and mm -hmm. even into the fall. What are mm -hmm. some of the big events that are coming up? In early August, we have our Vietnam History Day. So okay. um, together with some Vietnam vets, we talk about what it would have been like for the men and women, women serving in Vietnam. Um, so we have living history going on. 
In September, we have our Living History World War II Saturday. So we have a Living History group that reenacts what it would have been like on board the ship. Okay. So they wear naval uniforms. Yeah. Um, we also have some behind the scenes tours this summer. So we have a special behind the scenes tour of our PT boats, which is part of the PT Boat Museum. So the PT Boat Curator takes you inside the PT boats, which is always closed to visitors. So you get that real first-hand experience of the size and the sort of cramped quarters on the PT boats and what it would have been like for the guys on board. Then we also have a behind-the-scenes galley tour, so you get to see all the spaces that would have been involved in food prep, supply, um, our ice cream shop. You get to see all that stuff going behind the scenes where the visitors can't go. Wow. Um, and then we're also going to, for that galley tour, you get to have a uh, World War II era meal as well. I've noticed on your website before you've done some of these very very special uh, mm -hmm. events like mm -hmm. you're mentioning there. So, you know, this isn't really, this, this isn't exclusive to kids and families. Nope. This is a great place to take for a history buff. Yep. Uh, for somebody who, you know, perhaps served mm -hmm. uh, in World War II or mm -hmm. shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, unfortunately, we're starting to lose a lot of those veterans yep. uh, just due to age and time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but you guys have quite a, quite a layout here for for them to, right. to to explore and, and and take it in and if somebody wanted to get involved on more of a, a regular giving basis do mm -hmm. you guys have opportunities for that because you guys are mm -hmm. a you're a historical nonprofit mm -hmm. organization that's right we are a nonprofit and we don't have any funding from federal government although <laughs> if anyone's watching <laughs> hello senators <laughs> hello. and reps um, so yeah, we are. Well, they built the boats years ago. The right. feds did, so, so yeah. that was nice of them. But you know, a little help would a little help. help yeah, would be great. You know, yeah, be of cool. We'd never turn it down. Uh, they all watch too on a exactly, regular basis. Yes, you know? So we have a great core of volunteers that come by. So for example, um, for restoration, we have an amazing team um, on the Kennedy, which is our destroyer. For example, they come down once a week and work on big projects. So they're usually restoring a compartment, and then we have a great team that works on the Massachusetts. So if you come by on a Saturday. You'll see a lot of our volunteers restoring something like her gun barrels or her 40 millimeter guns. Um, that we've got a great crew of hardworking and dedicated people. That's with great. Us. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. But people can get onto a program to to make a contribution financially yes. online. Yes. Or, uh, um, you can donate online. Um, you can also purchase a membership, which goes towards the restoration of the ships, and it also allows you to visit, um, depending on the membership level that you get, as many times as you want. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Well, and think about it, too. If you have young kids. Right. It's good you, value. You said it right in the beginning. There's a lot of walking involved. So mm -hmm. the first time you come, you might not be able to do all of it. Right, right. Why not get a membership and do it in small chunks? And also, our, our regular visitor ticket is a two-day ticket. So if you have small oh, okay. kids that get tired after a couple hours, which, I mean, let's face it, most adults do anyways sure. as well. If you want to come back, if you Maybe miss something. It. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, if you miss something or you want to learn more about something, it's a two-day ticket. And we also have the Maritime Museum at Fall River as part of that ticket as well, so you can go see that museum. It's a really great value for the amount that we have to see That's awesome. at the Battleship. Uh, if people want to get involved, perhaps take advantage of one of those volunteer opportunities you were talking about earlier, how can they do that? So they can go online, they can email us at battleship at battleshipcove.org and we can get them set up as a volunteer. There's tons of projects that can be done. There's tours that can be led. There's restoration projects. You, um, if you're interested, you can do something like restoring one of our guns, which is super cool. Um, you can work with me in the archives. You can do some cataloging, get really hands-on with the collection. There's always something to be done. You guys have some great events coming up. Those are later in the summer. Liz, thanks so much for yeah, joining me in the no car problem. today. All right, you sure I can't drive? <laughs>